Welcome back to another James D video. Um, just one quick thing about the Zalman. I've gotten people asking me, what the hell do I do with that wire? <laughs> you know, because, I mean, on a, on a heat sink, I guess, that had uh, smarter wire management, it would be, you know, back here, so you could hide the sucker behind the board tray and then plug it into the four pin over there. But this, you know, it comes bundled with with this thing here. So what I had been doing was just keeping it, you know, kind of tied tight together and then having it kind of hang around here. And it's like, well, that that's kind of impeding airflow. So what I decided to do was rig up something a little a little on my own here. Now what I decided to do, I was thinking about, you know, what the hell am I gonna use? Blue tape. So I have these anchors, anchors for the uh, you know the zip wires that I've got on the back of the board tray and other places. And um, what I ended up doing was you just cut out a little piece of this so that it is roughly this size, okay? It doesn't need to be a full, full piece, you know, just like that. And then what you're gonna wanna do is take off the back end and then try to fit it, try to fit it in there, okay? So that it's nice and tight in there, don't worry, you won't be able to see it once the cable is is over it. And then you're going to want to take a zip tie. Okay, and then right towards the end here, you're going to want to bend it. Even closer to the end than that, but you get what I'm saying. You're going to want to bend it so that you can kind of get it in there and, and it'll come back up the other side. And then that way you can run the cable nice and tight against here. And then down into that little crevice. And then zip it down. And try to use a pen or something after you cut off the, the excess of the zip wire to, to shove the, the little tab down in there. Actually, they did a, did a good job making this cable. I mean, it would have been better if it was all black. And then the part back here, it's gonna run along the back side. And then you can just use simple tape here. I mean, we're talking like inch and a half. And then cut it down in half lengthwise. And then just stick it back there here. Yeah, just stick it back there. I mean, the main thing is, you know, shouldn't be able to see it. So it's back in there. And then there's gonna be a little bit of excess. If you've got a, a case like mine, the Antec 1200, you're gonna have access through the other side to that excess. And then you're gonna to wanna to take it in another zip tie and string it tight and then cut off the excess. And basically you're set, I mean, you know, no more wire just hanging there useless and the four pin is right there. I mean, on your board, a four pin might be in a different spot, but if you're using this particular EVGA model, the X58 SLI LE, it's gonna be there. So yeah, that's, that's kind of a quick, I mean, it took what, five minutes? And, you know, it doesn't look that, that bad, honestly. I mean, when you pull back, you can't even notice. It's a lot better than a wire just hanging there. So, all right. Well, next video, I'm going to be going for thirty thousand in three D Mark Vantage. So, be sure to stick around for that. It's going to be an intense run because I've been really having some issues trying to get these cards 
stable. I mean, it's just on air. And this isn't exactly a classified board, so, you know, there's not a lot of overhead for the ramp. So. All right, well, thanks for watching my video, and be sure to keep an eye out for that 3D Mark Vantage run. All right, talk later.